I'm Shan, I'm the Centre Manager from Kids Cove in Albany. Uh, we opened in September last year. Uh, we're a 125 placement centre and we've got the most fantastic facilities. We are strongly inspired by the Reggio and Piccola philosophy. Uh, we work under the Kids Cove um, guidelines that we uh, promote love, learning and development as always being evident within our programs. Uh, we uphold the uniqueness of every child here. Uh, and we, our programs and philosophies are designed and tailored to meet every family's need. Um, our children are given the opportunity to engage in rich, meaningful learning experiences that are relevant to real life opportunities. We foster social competence is a big thing for us and expressive uh, and open-ended opportunities. We utilise a lot of natural resources. Um, we do a lot of work with the communities to bring them into our teaching and learning environments. And we have just a wonderfully rich teaching team here. We've got some really amazing teachers. They're all super, super passionate people. Um, and it's a joy to see how our setting is growing and evolving as we welcome new families into our space. The deciding factor for us going ahead with Kid Reports, um, I guess, was my previous experience with other um, online portfolio systems. Um, I've had experience as a teacher working with a few other um, organisations and when we were looking at going ahead with an online learning system for our new setting, um, I sort of drew on prior knowledge and when Kid Reports was introduced to me by our director, um, I was intrigued. There was a lot of, a lot of elements that were um, present in Kid Reports that there wasn't in other online learning systems at the time. Um, we were looking at um, elements such as the routine recording functions, which is for teachers, a, a time management sort of system as well. Our families want that information and being able to capture it regularly um, and, and consistently and in an accessible way was something that I really wanted to be able to project with our, with our families in our new setting. Um, the ability to do a lot of real-time updates was another um, deciding factor for us in, in going ahead with, with the Kid Reports system. Um, being able to give families real-time snapshots throughout the day, give them insights into what their children are doing when they're here as opposed to receiving that once a month or at the end of the week because the teachers had their non-contact um, later, later in the day for example. So I viewed it as an opportunity to strengthen our parent engagement from, from the beginning of our, our setting. Probably one of the main things that we, we utilise most regularly and, and value most with Kid Reports is the ability to give parents insights into what their children are doing throughout the day. Um, we all know that early early education, a lot of our children are spending a lot of a lot of time during their their day and their week in our settings. Um, and parents are they they want to know they're interested in what their children are doing, what they're learning, how those interactions are happening um, when their children are, are present with us. So being able to give those families snapshots is is a big thing uh, for first time first time parents. It's another it's another big factor, Kid Reports is able to give us a tool that, that we can give our families a little bit of comfort when they're, when they're saying goodbye to their, their children for potentially the first time. Um, it's, it's not easy at any time saying goodbye to your child, but for those families who are particularly interested in seeing those, those finer details for their children regularly, it gives our teachers a tool to be able to upload that as well. From a teacher's perspective, there's the ability to create a lot of uh, assessment feedback. We're able to collate a lot of information through the Kid Reports uh, system. We can we can go ahead with planning, we can make links to curriculums for families, we can record all the information that the Ministry requires us to record. Um, we're able to go back and review our documentation as well. It helps us with self-review, so from a teacher's perspective it's also a really valuable tool.